Meet David Laherne, who was back in the saddle just a few weeks after his prostate cancer operation. The 57-year-old dentist felt as though he'd never been through an op just 10 days after having his cancer removed by keyhole surgery. A swift recovery, aided by leaving hospital free of a urethral catheter. To me, in the hospital, when I had the bag and the catheter, that was probably the lowest point of your time in hospital. It, it, mentally and physically, it drags you down. It's very good to get you up and about as well if you don't have a bag strapped to your leg. You know, it's, it's, it's so inconvenient, that is, whereas I was able to go for walks nearly straight away. I think not having a catheter in made a huge difference to that recovery. It speeded up by weeks, I think. Once the prostate is removed, we have to join the bladder back up to the water pipe, the urethra. This can be done very, very accurately with keyhole techniques. So much so that the join is virtually perfect, which then begs the question, well, why do patients have a catheter in for a week post-surgery, which is the standard time uh, that people leave catheters in after this sort of surgery? Well, the answer is they don't, you don't need to leave it that long if the joint is perfect. The thing that I don't like is to have a tube going through their penis into the bladder and having to go home with it with a leg bag. Urologist Alan Doherty is among a very few surgeons offering prostate surgery patients a suprapubic catheter, giving them the freedom to get out and about as soon as they're home, with no tube from the penis, yet a fail-safe safety valve, important for the first day or two, should any post-operative swelling make it difficult for a patient to empty their bladder. In the operation, they give the normal catheter and then the suprapubic, which is just a little catheter just above your pubes, as tiny and a strap to your stomach, you don't even know it's there. So on the day I was leaving, I was given an option of having both catheters out or just leaving the super pubic in. And I thought, because I live so far from the hospital, I thought I'd like to spend one night at home. If there was a problem, then I could sort it out myself. You know, if there's a blockage in the bladder, then I could sort it out myself. And then I just went back in the next day, had that out, two minute job and it was great. That, that really was a big, big bonus. The most important thing was the quality of the surgeon. Uh, the more I read, the more I looked into it, it showed very clearly that the more experience the surgeon had, the better chance of getting rid of the cancer and the better prospects for the side effects afterwards. After a month I played golf um, and I played three times a week. Uh, I cycled probably 50 miles a week now. Um, just through the country lanes here and I go to the gym a couple of nights a week as well. This simple advance in patients being offered the chance to leave hospital free from a urethral catheter is bringing another improvement in the immediate outcome of surgery. Patients feel well sooner, can be active earlier and ready to get on with the rest of their lives.